and we're back. Welcome everybody. Welcome back to the Mofal Project. Let me just load it in. So yeah, um, wow. I hope yeah, it's working. Great, great. great. Now, um, since that today we're gonna be fixing the little things that have been wrong with this project, so just the little things. So it's not gonna be big things today. It's just gonna be fixing stuff up, and then we can start to the next wing. At least that's the idea. It's not the best, but it will do. Um, I'm moving one more thing. Come on, find it correctly. Ah, there it is. So yeah, let's get started, shall we? Oh, hey, Mark. Nice to see you as well. So today we're gonna be working on fixing the little things. So that's uh. Um, if I'm correct, that's gonna be. It's gonna pick up this color right here. And that should be working fine. Yes, excellent. We wanna go for that. We actually wanna go for. Uh, there we go. Well, we don't wanna work on the filter, we want to actually work on. This right. Uh, where is it? We actually want to work on this. this. All right, we want to work on that. So we're going to be working on that. Um, um, there you go. There is the color that I needed. Alright, and let's get started. So we're going to do a quick swoop around, uh, looking at the parts that we have been already left behind. So we're going to be looking for empty stuff that uh, has not been filled in yet. To get the full clean on, you know, the whole damn thing. So we're going to be splitting it up. Like for instance here, we... Uh, for instance, here we have this little thing that is not being colored in. This part right here. So yeah, it's just casually, you know, rubbing the pencil around, fixing the little side things that have been been neglected. Yes, that's the word. The things that have been neglected, we need to fix, because otherwise we won't be able to fix it correctly. So yeah, I'm just casually fixing it. It's not going to be a lot of work, but it is necessary before we can continue. Um. So yeah, uh, things are great today at my place, at least. Doing lovely work here, and. Probably all of you are wondering, like, why would you do such a thing? Why would you, you know, fix your, why would you fix the little gaps that are not visible? Well, if you look closely, if you should um, increase the volume of your drawing, you know, like um, zoomed in or printing it big, things uh, will actually look quite different. So. Things that are like small, detailed, are looking down a little bit more uh, closer. So to fix that problem, we're supposed to go for you know uh, this approach, so that you know we don't uh, ruin it for ourselves. There. I hope everything is uh, well. I'm just gonna be double checking here. Hold on. Boo. Blah blah blah. I hope everything is. Uh, yeah. I knew it. Mike is too close. Boo. Shakaloom. There you go. Much better. So, yeah. Um, my 
The voice was actually way too slow, so yeah, um, we're gonna be going with this uh, little thing right here. It's always hard for me to judge where, if my mic is not correct. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be fixing the little gaps that I have been left behind for coloring. And we're gonna be fixing those. Uh, those color issues normally are not a problem, but as you can see they are might they might be a problem if um certain uh certain places are not well run. So yeah we're gonna be just casually moving our oh that's a little bit too much. There you go. Looks like my glasses are a little bit uh, blurry. Uh, I need to fix that. Hold on a sec. So yeah, uh, today I actually went. I actually had a good day. Uh, I fixed my writing, so that's good. Fixed a lot of word plays that uh, I failed to do in the first place, and I fixed them now so that you know they will be able to be correct. Also the uh, uh, also the uh, uh, the writing is actually now better than before because I fixed a lot of um, grammar. Yes, the word grammar. There you go. The grammatica on the uh, uh, on my spellings are not great. So yeah, I think that's a good word, right? Possibly. Anyway. So what I'm doing here is just fixing the damn thing. There you go. Easy as that. And the funny thing is actually that I'm trying to do my very best to get these things fixed up, but you know sometimes these uh, these things are a little bit difficult than before. Most of the problems that lie now, but most of the problems here in this drawing is now that I did not finish some parts up, so they are not fully drawn. This explains why some of the uh, some of the colors are you know merged with the background color, this one, then, and we want to fix that as well. We don't want that color representing in here. Also, like here, there are some gaps right here. Really unnoticeable, but if you zoom in, they will turn into gray. Gray stuff. And we don't want to have gray, no, we want to have colorful wings with colorful uh, inside of the wings. So, yeah. We want to fix that. So, yeah. Uh, this is probably also the. This is also the color that we're going to be using for the next one, so that's good. Oh hey Blue, nice to see you. So yeah, this is also for the next wing we're going to be using this, and we're going to keep these little dots until we fix everything. So until we have all the wings done, I will keep these little things, and then you know eventually erase them once they are no longer necessary. See them as my palette that I can just yeah, have access to. So yeah, um, it's a real, real bummer. Let's see, I did that one, so I need to now go back downwards here, and we can now see since that we um, have this wing is until when? Until there. All right, until there. Good. So as you can see, some of the some of the colorations are difficult or not even there. And we don't want to have these grey colors in our work. We don't want that. That's the worst kind of thing you can have. So yeah. Let's go. Right. 
So yeah, some of these things are like really, really gray skilled, and we want that gone. It's just a matter of, you know, doing things rightfully, or doing things the right way. It's quite easy, actually, if you just know where to look. It's like a little puzzle where, you know, some parts are missing, and you just have to put them back together correctly. Also, I always forget how to speak properly in the mic. It's really annoying. It's like, oh, I'm way too, I'm way too soft. Allow me to just put my ma my mic way closer towards me. It sometimes happens, you know, when you realize that your mic is a little bit too soft, or you realize that you are speaking too softly. It happens. It's like whispering, like ho ha wo you know. Normally, it's not a big deal but there you go way better that's much better also as you can see there was some red there I just removed it by just pressing the erase button It really helps, you know. Now I can continue here. So we can just look at it. Just, this is just a casual, you know, nothing very special about it. Should be easily, uh, easily done. It's just that some parts here are, you know, gray skilled because of the filter. Anyway, uh, so yeah, uh, I am trying to do my very best. Got a little distracted uh, today, but uh, nothing to be worried or concerned about. I fixed my writing. Check. I did my. I'm doing now my drawing check, so I uh, should be fine. The main the main problem with uh, the the main problem with uh, the uh, writing was actually that I was distracted. And once I put away my distraction, I was actually quite able able to fix all uh, all stuff that I have been left behind. The hardest part of my uh, the hardest part I uh, I found out was actually that. Uh, the hardest part that I found out was actually that able to uh, write it properly. So I need to do, make sure that everything. Oh my no! Yes, I knew it. I need to do some uh, coloring as well in the background. Oh well. As you can see, there are some color issues, but and they should be fine and easily fixed. They're really f easy fixable. It's just little things. Uh. There you go. So yeah, the tiny things. That's that's most of the hardest things to do. All right. So um, to fix the last part here, we're just gonna pick up the casual color. So we're gonna make one more layer. We're gonna make one more layer. It's gonna be under every single layer. No. 
every single layer. No, come on, every single layer. Yes, there it is. It's gonna be under every single layer. And it's gonna be casually. I think this color is actually the most representative. Yeah. So we're gonna be working here. Put a big giant brush under it. And fill up the white. Why are we doing this? Is because we don't want to have any white particles in our screen because it's very noticeable when you are making this big. So we don't want that to happen. Also, I'm making this the lowest so that none of the other colors are getting intertwined with it. So there is no, there is no, there is no coloration problem. It fixes a lot of trouble or issues. Let's put it that way. So yeah, like for instance here, there are some color issues and some white issues. So we are just gaily moving them across this big giant thing and we're just gonna be casually doing this until we fix everything yes that's how it works just casually moving around So it really helps because it is such a easy color to realize. It's it's not that invading to the other colors. It's just one of the same colors I already have used, but it's uh, the base color. So yeah, it might look very strange, but it should be very easy to understand why I'm doing this. And if I move this up, so now it should be fine. Oh. There you go. Easy as that. All right. Cool. So now we finished up with the color of the wing. Now we can start with a new one. So we had wing one, we had wing three, we need now wing two. So where is our wing two? Here it is, our wing two. It's a beauty, isn't it? So, how are we gonna do this again? Well, we have first, we have, ah, uh, yes. This one is gonna be the first one. So, this, uh, which one is on the first? Ah. This is gonna be the first one to do. So, because this is like one part. So, we want to actually making sure that we have uh this under um uh we have this under uh, no we don't have to do this one we don't the second one we need so we're gonna make a new map a new uh layer group no um uh, new we actually want to have a new group add a new group there you go so we have now put this on our group alright so now we want this under it we're gonna select the base color so which is the base color now again ah yes we kinda of forgot about that so how to do that 
uh, we need to go over to wing tree. You see this color? And that should be then the be. Ah, well, I forgot that it is on this side. Not bad. Wing color, uh, paint layer 1, paint layer 2 needs to be gone. Wing? No. It's quite cool. Um, so, we don't want this. Oh, we do want this. Alright, so we want this then to go. Yes, excellent. So, um, paint layer 1, 2, and 3. want only the first one. That is this color right here. So we're going to pick it up. And we're going to move it down. So we're going to go up, down, and we're going to go right over here. To a new group. To a new painting layer group that we have. That's in wing 2. So what does this do? Well, it does this. Boom, baby. Slowly and steadily, we are gonna get color. Oh my god, that looks so pretty. I know, right? Well, the good news is I need to remove. As you can see, we technically should move this wing downwards. Yeah, technically we should do that. But for now, we're not going to do that. Um, so how do we do that? So because this wing needs to be down, now we're going to be putting this on hold, hold, hold. There you go. That's the wing. So we want actually wing one to be gone under, under, above. This needs to be above it. But so far it's not. Huh. Oh it is, it is, it is, good. But this part need but the color needs to be under it. Hmm. Well this is always a difficult task to do. We're gonna be fixing that soon anyway. Hold on. So, because this is a real difficult thing to do, as you can see, it's a real nasty boy. We're just gonna go casually, you know, filtering it in, making sure that the color is the same. And then, once we're done, we're gonna be erasing this by hand, because clearly I cannot do this the other way around. It's already put in the right direction, it's just, you know, really hard to do. So yeah, this is like chocolate brown, so that's actually quite cool. Anyway, so yeah, uh, I hope you and our, I hope you're all gonna be enjoying this anyway. So how is everything going? Uh, I hope you're you have an awesome day today because I do. I mean, I'm just drawing these things and, you know, uh, what is wrong with this thing? Why can I not draw on this? Hold on. Does this need to be down under? Does this need to be under the paint? That's the question. Hmm. Uh, okay. See, why can I not draw on this? Yes. Means that... Should be drawing on this. 
unless it is not white. If I remove this, it's gone. So yes, I used. Hmm. Uh, allow me to just double do thing things. Hold on, I forgot to put something on, on off mode. There you go. Anyway, um, ooh, that's gonna be hard to do. Uh, yes, we're gonna do that because we're dicks and we need to do this anyway. Ah, removal. Ah. Removal of white. Jeez. Forgot about that. Yes. And now we need to get to black. Color it up. Alright. Red. Red black. Yes. Thank you. Now we need to get to here. I was a question like why is this in there? I have no idea what is this there. Alright. Now we can look at it. Meh, it's okay, but at least my boss is listening to the news about the capital today. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. I was surprised about that. I was like, excuse me, what just happened? So yeah. Call me actually by surprise. Apparently I used white in this composition. It's very strange. Apparently I have done a misplay there on my part. Oh well. Fixed it anyway. So, um now we can continue back to the coloring. Uh, there you go. Fix that madness. Alright, that looks way better. Now we just need the color again. So pick up the color and then we can continue drawing. So, yeah. Uh, ooh, I did it on the right. I did it on the right one. Alright, cool. So, yeah. That is actually an option. So yes, this is an option. All right. So now we just need to go like this because I am not going to be in the mood of there you go easy as that so yeah news about the capital that today uh, Oh, yeah. Well, gladly he's not listening to it. It's a lot of madness right there. But yeah. Um, so what I now did was actually fixing a part of my artwork. And it is a thing that, you know, apparently happened. I apparently used once white instead of black. Therefore, my whole work was actually ruined, so I need to be really, really, really careful that I don't do that. I really supposed to not go for white in the main drawing part. I can go for white like in the layer parts, like over here. I can just, you know, press that button, and then most of the drawing is gone, like bush. So, yeah. That's the thing that I don't have to worry about, but. I need to make sure that I'm not going to be going like that. So, yeah. Um, so today, 
the feathers are actually quite cool. A hey, blue. A uh, quick question. Um, when do you have actually another time to you know do a drawing stream? You know, I just wanted to ask. Because I'm actually quite uh, curious, like, mm, I want to do another, but I don't know when. And, you know, just asking, like, uh, when you have some free uh, spare time to have do one because I do like to uh, make ma do some more oh there you go easy as that boom baby oh. this work is tiresome nah just joking I'm just uh, I just need to gasp for some energy because you know I did a lot today. I technically did a lot. Well, not a lot, but it, it is a lot. I uh, did my writing, corrected everything. So yeah, that's a lot. A lot of feathers is also a lot. A lot of bricks is also a lot. You know, just adding everything up, it's actually quite good. This weekend is pretty busy for me. I could do, but I couldn't do next week. Nice. I will ask if uh, Crow. Or, yeah, I will ask if Crow has also some uh, some time, and uh, I'll ask some more things. I'll ask some more people because you know they asked me, and I uh, and I will be a very gentle person to say yes. So. Alright, uh, let's see. So, uh, nope. and then there you go. Easy as that. So, yeah. I think I'm doing actually pretty good at the uh, ink uh, coloring in. So yeah, um, mom, uh, yeah, there you go. My hands are way too rusty there. Way too rusty. Means that I did actually a lot of typing, but you know, I should not be that. I should not be that uh, tired. Yeah, more time. I actually did a lot of work, but it should be not that difficult. I did like three hours straight on writing, so yeah, it's a lot. But I fixed a lot, so that's good. It's looking really nice. Yeah, I know. That's what I like about it. Every single time I color things in, things look way better than before. And the more I color things in, the better they look. Like for instance, every single thing I, st every single thing I stack, things will get more, more better and better. So that's the idea. Eventually, you know, you will get yourself a good old-fashioned, but, but for now, it's just in co uh, coloring in. And then you know, after that, I need to do some particle effects. Well, no particle effects. I mean shading. And all that stuff, and then I need to do a simple background. I asked Hex what he wants, and he says whatever you suit it. Now I think like hmm, a simple background should do, should do nicely. So yeah, I will go for a simple background. You know, flower, uh, not flowers. I mean uh, leaves falling down, or you know the swe the the tree line. Leaves the the shading into it. Of 
or nearest nest. Hmm, that's actually also quite a cool thing. Just making a nest, but then I need to also make the, the little things out of it. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it should not be that difficult, but you know, you never, you never, you never know. All right. So how much? Oh boy, that's gonna be that's gonna be a difficult one to crack. This one. Yep. And that's from. No. That dot is not from this. Ah. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I was wondering what this was, and then I realized. So yes, I will do this. So now it's gone. All right, let's continue. That's not what I wanted to do. That was almost the wrong layer. I will seal this layer so that I will no longer touch it. Alright. First things first, we need to scratch this up open. And now we need to actually do this my way. No. There you go. I'm writing. Uh, yeah, I've been writing to a lot too. Rewriting. <laughs> I'm writing a uh, spans of time to jump in 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 time, so I'm keeping finding plot holes that I need to mend. Oh no. Yeah. Plot holes that you need to mend is uh, important, otherwise you know things don't make sense. Otherwise you have a plot, but you can just easily erase everything from it. Because, you know, you had this thing all along with you? How? Uh, please explain to me why. Ah, yes, of course I... Alright. I really hate this. I think I did it the wrong way. I think I did it the wrong way, right? <laughs> I think I should better just, you know, erase this part here and then just do it over so that, you know, I won't be able to. Yeah. That's that's a smart choice. Just pick up the thing, pick up the thing, and then just do it again. Because clearly, I have no idea how to do this otherwise. And I need to make sure that I have this. No, that's in the wing. I'll fix that later. I'll fix it later. Yeah, I sometimes also have to mend my own stuff, but don't you worry, it it will be easier the more you do it. 
the main problems I had like, oh wait, this happened in the story? Yes, this happened in the story, so I need to make sure that I I need to find a way I need to give him a valid reason why he's gonna do it. Why he's gonna find out the party, you know? And he's gonna find out the party because somebody else ordered him to do so. And therefore, you know, this guy will do the things. So yeah. So yeah, I just get I just needed to have, you know, the main antagonist to have a uh, have a have a valid reason why he's going to be chasing the party and I found a way. I already made I already wrote that down, but the problem was like, you know, I needed to write I need to write that part of the story. And that took me like, okay, how am I gonna introduce this bad? How am I gonna introduce the bad guy to the to the writer without giving any simple clues of you know this guy? Yeah, he is a he is a tyrant. He I needed to give them you know the, the simple clues like it's a tyrant. He's a tyrant. He's an asshole. He doesn't deserve to live. You know. This man is a true bad guy, you know, a typical villain bad guy, you know, the typical villain who wins by default if, you know, if the heroes don't contest. And how I will, and how cruel, I wanted to show people, like, how cruel and how unforgiven he is for, you know, people's mistakes if they trigger his, um, soft spot. So yeah, he does have a soft spot. Well, not technically a soft spot, more like a... Oh, if you mention this, then uh, you can uh, go uh, to hell with everything you had, you know? That time, uh, that thing. So don't, don't try to talk about... Don't talk about... Don't try to talk about the subject, or he will rage. Especially if it's bad news. So yeah, I usually do sto stories about uh, that very specific moments in time. So it has been a bit uh, adjustable to deal with something that is much of a skill with more plot to connect to each other. Sounds fun, like <laughs> fun character to write. Yeah, it is. It it is actually quite fun to write that guy. But holy hell, that, that guy is a real talkative bastard. He likes to talk, but he doesn't like to, you know, talk about certain types of things. So, you know, uh, like if somebody is giving him bad news and the subject of the bad news is things that he doesn't want to hear, ho, 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 that's gonna be a problem, you see. It's like uh, saying like, oh, you tried to cross the border, right? You'd fall for that same imperial ambush, same as that us and that Tifa over there. What's wrong with him? Shut up back there. It's all the strong cloak. <laughs> so yeah, you don't you don't want to make you don't want to make someone mad because you know, uh, because you know bad news is always good to give, but it's not good to give to someone who has like a temper, who has a very short temper when it comes to certain type of information. You should have technically gave that information to one of his generals, but as a captain he dis uh, uh, but a captain just decides, you know, you know what, screw the, screw the generals, I don't like the generals, I will talk to the king myself. And he died. You know. Short of the story. He died because he gave, he tried to give the information towards not the king. You know. So yeah, uh, it's a thing that can happen. It's definitely a thing that can happen, and uh, he was not fully aware of it. He was aware that the king is cruel, but he was not aware that the king would just, you know, murder him for it. So yeah, he, he kind of screwed up. So, uh, top, uh, top adds to him.
I know I wanted to create that scene to represent like how cruel this king can be towards his followers. And I think I did a decent job on that. The only downside is, you know, you already will know that the king is like a bad guy. But it will give a good motivation for our main antagonist who is going to be visiting our humble heroes, you know, and then contests with them. Even though the contesting is actually the opposite. Which is quite fun, like, hey, you know that the hero is also always supposed to win? Well, too bad, they don't. They fail miserably and die. Except one, which is the main hero. How did he survive? Well, that's a story for another day, my child. I will not spoil that. So, yeah. It's not gonna be a bullshit thing, you know, like, he has all the power of the world. No. No, 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 no. It's far more logical. It's far more logical. But yeah, that's uh, that's how you know the main antagonist is getting introduced. Like, how did he how did he got here? Well, he got here because of this, and he was already in the area. So yeah, he got here already. He didn't have to do that much of work. He just had to call some people and then you know help let them help help him uh, find to uh, find you guys. That's all. That's all, folks. So yeah, I gave the bad guy the main. I give the bad guy the main reason why, and how, and what he's gonna give get for doing this. And he is a greedy son of a bitch. So yes, of course he will accept. Anyway, uh, but, uh, boob I do. Uh, so, yeah. So, yeah, that that's actually the story all about, like, the story is great, but, you know, I need to make sure that everything has a reason why and how it's going to be falling. And if you don't do that, you know, it won't be believable. And if the story is not believable, then, well, you don't have a good story. Don't get me wrong, a non-believable story is fun, but and it should be having a lot of humor in it instead of being trying to be serious and then totally f uh, fall flat on that. That loo looks lovely. I think I did a pretty good job on that one. Nice. Uh, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah. All right. Uh, let's see how much time do we have left. Uh, no, none. Uh, let's press this on five. Booyah. No, that's not what I wanted. I said five, not change to five. Oh, very spooky. All right, cool. Um, so, yes. So, what we're now going to be doing tomorrow, uh, what we're not going to do tomorrow, because I am busy tomorrow, I will be busy prepping for, you know, speaking my uh, story out loud, so I will be una unavailable for tomorrow. So, yeah, I need to make, I need to make sure that I have some practice and then, you know, take a good rest before getting started. So, um... I hope you all enjoyed for today, and uh, I hope you all like it so far. 
and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time until then I wish you all having a lovely day and uh, bye